what if I was to look at pigeons under, under sort of a microscope? Maybe you think pigeons are nothing more than pests. Maybe there's more to the much maligned bird. You know, not too many people are fond of pigeons. Au contraire. I think for everybody that hates a pigeon in New York, there's a pigeon lover. Andrew Garn is a photographer who took a closer look at the pigeon and became enamored. I looked at them and I was just totally bedazzled. The feather patterns, the variation in their feathers, the colors of their eyes, just incredible. And I was just, I was smitten from that day forward. For 10 years, he studied and captured images assembled in a book fittingly called The New York Pigeon. When the light is right, they show off their true colors. The fact that you see them everywhere, it almost makes them invisible. Mm -hmm. But when you do take a closer look at them, you see the coloration of their feathers. When I started photographing the pigeons, I started looking at them, and I had never really looked at a bird that close before. And I thought, wow, they are beautiful. They're like jewels. But I like the brown ones the best. He's really beautiful. See, he's ready to land on my finger. It's believed New York City is home to 7 million pigeons. They live largely on seeds, breadcrumbs, and other leftovers. The natural home for a pigeon is a cliffside ledge. So a perfect alternative is a building, making New York ideal. Where they come from, they had to evade predators, and there's no natural cover. So they had to be able to move like a helicopter. They have incredible takeoff power, so it's a big bird. I mean, they're pound, one-pound birds. They can take off in a snap. I mean, everybody's seen like a whole flock of pigeons taking off at the same time. That's because they're so powerful. In a safe environment, pigeons will live for 20 years. But life in New York is hard. Most don't last a year. They're New Yorkers, you know, they're trying to survive, you know, they're scrappy, they're smart. So in other words, we should love pigeons because they're as much a New Yorker as we are. Absolutely. I mean, they are the epitome of New York. I mean, they should be the national bird of New York or the city bird. They absolutely should be. And I'm, I'm gunning for that. I'm, I'm starting a campaign for that. <laughs> You could. You could run for mayor on, on that pigeon campaign. Platform. A pigeon <laughs> platform, yeah. I've got the pigeon platform. I think I could, I could get that. How do you feel about squirrels? Squirrels are okay. They're cute. They're furry. They're cute. But they're not like pigeons. People are oblivious to nature. They really are. And I think they need to w open their eyes a little bit. If you can see pigeons in a different light, maybe you might be able to see other things in a yeah, different light as well. Yeah, absolutely. If you open your eyes to one thing that you didn't really expect to be interesting, what other things can you open your eyes to?